Hey everyone, welcome back to the Vital Signs Vlog. Today, we're tackling something that might make you a bit squeamish at first, how to give yourself a subcutaneous injection. If you've got a condition like diabetes or need meds like insulin or blood thinners, doing shots at home can feel intimidating, especially if needles aren't your thing. But trust me, with the right steps and a little practice, you'll be handling it like a pro and it's way less painful than you might think thanks to those short, thin needles. These tips come from Riley Almaslecker, family nurse practitioner and clinic director at American Family Care Joplin. Let's break it down. So, what exactly is a subcutaneous injection? It's a shot that delivers medication into the fatty tissue just under your skin, between the skin and muscle. The meds absorb slowly over about 24 hours, and doses are usually small around one milliliter. Depending on your prescription, you might do this daily, weekly, or monthly. Riley points out the perks. There is a variety of benefits to sub-Q injections at home, such as minimizing appointments and travel. It fits your schedule, and factors like insurance or cost might make it the best option. Who needs these? Common meds include insulin for type 2 diabetes, blood thinners, fertility drugs, epinephrine for allergies, or even pain relievers like morphine. Your doctor might prescribe them for ongoing conditions or emergencies. Choosing the right spot is key. Go for areas with easy to reach fatty tissue, your abdomen at least two inches from the belly button, the back of your upper arm, or the front of your thigh. Rotate sites each time. Don't hit the same spot repeatedly. Riley explains, tissue changes occur if injections are given in the same place every time and this can cause the medication to not be absorbed properly. In addition, site rotation decreases chance of bruising and discomfort. All right, let's get to the how-to. Riley walks us through it step-by-step step to minimize pain or bruising. First, gather your supplies, alcohol swabs, an adhesive bandage, a sharps container for safe disposal like an empty milk jug or one from your pharmacy, and your medication maybe a pre-filled syringe or auto-injector pen. Riley stresses, proper disposal of sharps is important to avoid accidental injury to people slash pets and spread of infections that can cause serious health conditions. Next, wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. That's like singing happy birthday twice. Dry them well. Hand washing is your first line of defense against germs. Get comfy. Sit or lie down in a relaxed spot, like a recliner or bed, where you can easily reach the injection site. Riley says, breathing can help you relax and stay calm as you administer your medication. We tend to hold our breath when we are tense. It's okay to feel nervous the first time. Prep the site. Clean the area with an alcohol swab and let it dry. Follow your med's instructions. If it's not pre-filled, draw from the vial carefully. Riley emphasizes, for medication to be effective and prevent yourself harm, it's vital to follow the directions from your provider or from the manufacturer. Time for the shot. If it's a syringe, hold it like a pencil in your dominant hand. With the other hand, pinch the skin to make a fold and hold it steady. Insert the needle straight in at a 90 degree angle, all the way. Slowly push the plunger to deliver the med. For an auto injector, just press it flat against the skin and hit the button. Pull the needle straight out. Release the skin fold and toss it in the sharp container. Slap on a bandage if needed. If you're nervous or dealing with pain, try these tricks. Apply numbing cream or ice the spot beforehand. Practice deep breathing or remind yourself why you're doing this. Your health matters. Riley reassures, with practice you will gain confidence in yourself and self-injection will become easier. And hey, a family member can learn to help if self-injecting feels overwhelming. Bottom line, don't let fear hold you back. Your provider at AFC Joplin can guide you through practice sessions and answer all your questions. Come see us for hands-on training or any health concerns. We're just off 3rd and Rangeland behind Starbucks at 320 South Geneva. Call 417-526-4232 to schedule. Walk-ins are always welcome. Thanks for watching the Vital Signs Vlog. If this eased your mind, hit that like button, subscribe for more practical health tips, and drop a comment. 
Have you ever done a sub -Q injection? Share your experience below. Stay confident and healthy. See you next time. If you are feeling under the weather, you can walk into American Family Care Joplin seven days a week with no appointment to get a diagnosis. We will have you feeling better and back on your feet fast. IFC Urgent Care Joplin, located off 3rd and Range Line behind Starbucks. American Family Care, the right care, right now.